Hi and welcome back. Now today we're going to look at the RAF March Past, which is the official march of the Royal Air Force. Uh, written back in 1918, which is coincidentally the same year that the RAF was founded. Now as you hear it, there's, there's kind of three parts to this. There's the first part and the third part, which were written by Walford Davies. And then sandwiched in the middle is a sort of softer trio section by Sir George Dyson. Uh, great march, as I say, if you, if you go to see an RAF band in concert, this is the march that they finish with. If you see obviously a parade or whatever, this march will be prominent. And if you're fortunate enough to be, say, in London when the Queen's Colour Squadron are doing ceremonial guard duties at the palace, again, this is the march you'll hear. So very, very famous. Unfortunately, it's not the easiest march to play on the side drum. You know, a lot of marches are very repetitive. This isn't, it's every bar is different pretty much and it covers everything. So you've got drags, rolls, uh, straight quavers, then triplets, dot and cut notes. It's just got everything in there. So it's a challenge, but it's well worth the effort just because it will really bring you on as a player, just because it covers so many different aspects. Just to give you a little idea, I'll play the, uh, the first section, okay? Then that gives way to the, say, the trio section, which is very triplet based, lots and lots of drags. And so on. And then back into the, uh, the third section, which you say is very, very similar to the first section. So well worth persevering with, great march, great challenge. Uh, I'm going to play it along now to some music, just so you can you can hear it in context. Uh, any questions, or if you need a hand with it or anything, just uh, get in touch with me by the usual uh, the usual methods, which will show up in the biog. Uh, thanks for watching. So let's let's take a listen. <laughs> 